Mr. Spielberg. Mr. Spielberg, what's your name? Elizabeth Brown. Elizabeth Brown is here to see you. Okay. Go to room 218 up the elevator. Thank you. some uh, minor alterations. Minor alterations? What do you mean by that? Yeah, nothing major, kid. Just, um, let me bring in the guys. Hello, Nancy. Yes, can you please bring in the revised script for Act One? Thank you. Here you go, Mr. Spielberg. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so anyways, um, thanks Nancy. Uh, this is just the revised script. Nothing major, just how we take a look at that kid. <clears throat> but, but what's wrong with my version? Well, it, it was just too simple. I didn't have what I needed. I need a little bit of, uh, oomph. Mm. What does oomph mm mean? Well, look here, right here. This is your scene one, the revised version. A young woman named Mary is working in her home. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appears Girl, to her. You were both wrong, woman. The Lord is with you. Who are you? Where do you say? What do you mean? Fear not, Mary, for you have placed God. I have? You should have a baby and you should call Jesus. Me? Have a baby? You should be called the son of the highest. God will give him the throne of David, his kingdom. His kingdom will never end. But I can't have a baby. I'm not married. I don't even have a husband. The Holy Spirit will come from you. The child born of you will be called the Son of God. So, what's wrong with scene one? In the first place, you have Mary doing housework. What kind of job is that for the female lead? I mean, she needs something more glamorous, more exciting, more corporate vice president, lawyer. You know, something high-powered. But she was a peasant girl. Peasant schmezzant. Ugh. No way. That's dull. All right, so then we got this bit about a baby. I mean, who's going to believe that she'd be worried about having a child before she's married? But that's not what happened. No, kid, don't, you don't need to worry about this. I got this under control. Do you know who I am? I am Steven Spielberg. I have made E.T. E.T. Oh, we could have jugglers, acrobats, musicians. Maybe even I can bring little, little Drew Barrymore in there. E.T. Elliot, can't you see the picture? We'll have singers, dancers. Oh, my phone's ringing. One second. <clears throat> oh, hello, Nancy. Yes. Oh. Miss Brown, it's for you. Um, okay. Just send her up. Okay, thank you. Um, sorry, Mr. Spielberg, but my daughter, she is in the car and I, I left her, so I didn't know I was going to be this long. Can she just come in here and sit down? Do you know who I am? I'm Steven Spielberg. I don't have time for... Whatever. Just, just bring her in. If she's quiet, she can sit over there. Okay, I promise. Here's your daughter. Thank oh, you. Sorry, Mommy. I just couldn't wait anymore. Um... It's okay, just be quiet. Sit down here. Okay, so, where were we? Um, oh, Caesar enters. Okay, how about you take a look at this? As you were. I need to make a decree. <laughs> You know, 
show them all. Send me a scribe. Scribes here. I need to make a decree that all people should go back to their ancestor town for the world to be counted and, of course, taxed. Did you get that, scribe? Yes. Be gone. Oh, that's a good day's work. I'll think I'll have a nap. Oh, don't you just love that first scene? I mean, oh, Caesar and every, oh, it was amazing. The audience was shaking in their seats. But it spends too much time on Caesar. Kid, Caesar, Caesar's like the emperor. He is amazing. He is, Caesar sounds good. Hey, Nancy, come here. Hey, um, do you think that you can get me a Caesar salad? Yes, right away. Thank you. All right, so uh, back to the script. But his decree caused a prophecy that should have been fulfilled. And it, that meant that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. Nah, kid, you gotta trust me on this one, dude. Here, here is the one in Bethlehem. So Joseph took his wife on a donkey and traveled to Bethlehem. But they arrived late. There was no room at the inn. It's awfully late. Do you think we'll find a room? We'll find a room. Hey, there's an inn. We need a place to stay. You and a thousand others move on. I got no room. But we must have a room. My wife's having a baby. 